Hello everyone, I just wanted to show you my uh, VQS that I'm going to be racing at this year's Revival. Um, I've uh, bought a clear body for it and painted it white, obviously, um, because one, I think they look better in white, and two, white is a lot easier to see than the, the black that it comes um, factory painted. Um, I'll just take the body shell off. Um, you underneath a couple of mods that I've done to it would it help if my aerial fitted through the arm so I fitted on the uh, ball race steering uh, the Avanti ball race steering um, I've got some uh, original high caps vintage ones uh, which I've done a bit of a refurb on and um, fitted uh, new uh, O-rings to them, but the X-rings, the, the blue ones, um, to make them like super smooth. Um, also managed to find some original um, diaphragms uh, for sale on eBay, so fitted those as well. Although the diaphragms that were in there were, were really good anyway. Also got the, um, uh, I think it's the Evo Logic, let me just double check, is it Evo Logic? RC Evo Logic, sorry about that. Um, yeah, RC Evo Logic um, front and rear uh, shock towers, uh, and also like the the alloy G11 part that they do. So you know that's all like super solid now. Um, again, original high caps on the back. Uh, the reason I like the original ones versus the Riri ones, the Riri ones have only got like one O ring in. Whereas the originals, you put two O-rings in. Um, I just think with one O-ring, and the short is going to have a tendency to leak. Um, and also, I prefer the way the there's a little hole at the top as well, um, inside where the, where the screw goes through to kind of let the air out. Whereas the the Riri ones, they've kind of like got grooves down the. Um, like the screw thread to kind of let the air out as you screw it on and I really struggled to kind of get them to get the air out and get them to work properly without having like that kind of sort of air rebound that you get um, but yeah these are just superb I've still obviously got a fit uh, motor to it and, and electrics um, I've got a couple of uh, vintage uh, LRP ESCs uh, both of these I've known motor limit, um, so I'm going to use those because obviously I'm, I'm going to use brushed. Um, got myself an LRP uh, 12 double motor, uh, the V10, nice looking motor. So that's probably going to be my motor of choice. When I used to race my Egress, you can see in the background here, I used to race a, a 12 double in that uh, back in the good old days. And, um, that seems to suit it quite well. Um, so yeah, so yeah, just a quick talk about these. This is obviously my vintage egress. Uh, raced this not last year but the year before at the revival. Uh, and then uh, next to it we've got last year's racer, uh, the big wig. This was really fun actually. I really enjoyed racing this round. Um, I actually used these tyres on that, the um, like the square block Schumacher tyres in yellow. Uh, I found they were quite grippy, so I thought, yeah, why not? I'll stick those on this to start with. I've also got some of the um, JC Racing um, sort of egress wheels that, that he does that are in 2.2. Got uh, I think got some Proline pyramids glued to one set, and then some uh, Schumacher mini darts. Um, so got those as an option as well, but yeah, I thought I'll start out with the square blocks. Um, what was the other thing I was going to show you? Uh, something, something I was going to show you in my drawer. My drawer of things. Oh, managed to get hold of these. The um, mini high cap damper spring set for the front. After a rear set as well. It's got a rear set for sale. But, um, fair price um, do let me know um, oh talking of things for sale uh, let me show 
I've actually got a spare set of original high cap dampers. Um, I'm selling mine at the moment if anybody's interested. Um, and also, I'll just pop behind the camera. Um, got some uh, big bore dampers, um, the, the, the small ones, you know, for like on road cars. Um, I'm moving some of those on. Uh, oh, let me show you something else I've just, just got hold of. Uh, excuse me, I'll get back at them. Right, these are really cool looking. Absolutely, I, I fell in love with these, saw these on eBay. Gold coloured low friction dampers with blue springs. I just thought that those were okay, so I, well, I couldn't pass those up. I probably will put them on. I've got the TO3 RS Porsche that I've got built, I'll probably stick those on there. Right, I'm back. Okay, um, there was something else I was going to show you. Let me just pause the camera and I'll come straight back. Right, this was it. Uh, my massive bag of egress uh, spare gears, like original gears as well. Um, and also I've got um, some original diff parts. Uh, so yeah, what I was going to say was, the other thing I'm going to fit to this, I've got the selection of different gears so I've got like the fixed centre gear and then also like a, a spare one-way roller so I'm probably going to fit the one-way roller because I've got the one-way roller in this one um, so I'm kind of used to driving it with that one um, so yeah so those, those are going to get fitted um, I was also I was, saying, I was lucky enough to get hold of um, some spare um, diff gears for the originals um, these are obviously on the re it's, it's a completely kind of different different design um, so yeah I'm going with gears gear diffs in, in this um, but I mean maybe maybe during the the day I might I'm going to take this as like a sort of backup car I might drop the ball diffs out of that and maybe put them in this see how that goes um, but yeah so um, yeah that's that uh, one last thing to show you Stick behind the camera again. Um, I'm actually uh, donating a brand new RZ motor um, to the to the raffle at the revival this year. Um, so that's coming with me on Sunday. It'll be in Sunday's raffle. Um, I mean, it's a beautiful looking motor. I do think Tommy O makes some gorgeous motors, and um, yeah, this they, they go really well as well. I've got another one um, to put in one of my other cars. So yeah, so that's that. And I oh, and also at Osworth Street, um, I won't be racing there, but I will be there on the Sunday uh, helping sell the raffle tickets. Um, the raffle is always superb. The prizes are just amazing what people donate. Loads of people donate things to them, you know, from big manufacturers like Schumacher down to just kind of individuals like myself who donate sort of Odd, odd small prizes so there's always loads of prizes but you know there's some really good stuff that um john weston's been posting uh upon the iconic um facebook group already um big shout out to john weston for organizing the iconic event it's just it's the it's the highlight of my my year and, and probably most people who are into vintage rc racing absolutely super event so big shout out to him and, and, and everyone that help, helps out with it and um yeah next time you see this um it'll probably be uh when i'm at the track hopefully i'll get um try and get videos of like all the all the finals on the on the sunday or the four wheel drive um maybe get somebody to take a video of whatever final i'm in get some get some video of this this thing running and um yeah that's about it but uh yeah thanks for watching um if you're new please subscribe um lots of people come along and watch the videos and, and don't subscribe it really helps if you su subscribe to kind of help me sort of like grow the channel and get get the videos out to more people um yeah and if you like to see vintage racing then um, definitely subscribe so you can um see what's coming up uh, in the next in the next few weeks when i've um, been to the revival and and taken some videos anyway thanks for watching bye